I didn't know until I was invited to do this that I was old. That, uh, so thanks for pointing that out. That's, uh, great. Wow, you're old. Come and see if you can still make a cogent sentence. So, so I'll do that. Um, I, uh, when I uh, used to tour around trying to persuade people that equality was you know, a fantastic idea, um, and I was working for Stonewall, so maybe, I don't know, 20, 25 years ago, um, we started with the banks, actually. We started by going around the banks and saying, listen, uh, there might even be money in it for you. Why don't you just be nice? That would be a, a starting point. Uh, and I also toured uh, Department of Health and uh, Social Security offices, and I remember doing one in uh, Newcastle, I think it was, and uh, it was a room full of people who'd been made to go. And uh, I talked uh, earnestly about uh, LGBTI equality and so on, and a man came up to me uh, and he said, yes, we don't have any of those people here. And I said, wow, okay. So then we were doing a Q&A later in the afternoon and I said, uh, it turns out that you don't have any of those people here, um, but here's the thing that you don't know about me. Uh, I have gaydar and uh, I can spot every single uh, gay person in the room. And afterwards, one at a time, people came up to me and said, I knew you could see me. I knew, I knew. <laughs> Um, possibly the best uh, remark I ever heard uh, when we were fighting for equal marriage uh, was a bishop, a marvelous bishop on Radio 4, who said, yes, yes, I, what I think about gay people is they've got enough equality. And I think it's good to qualify the word equality with the word enough. <laughs> One of the things that I think is difficult uh, for LGBTI people is to find our legacy. Uh, it's sometimes uh, not immediately apparent to you. Uh, it's uh, often not maybe in your family, but it's not necessarily in your family. And I think it's difficult to find your heritage. Uh, and I think it's really important uh, that we look to those who have gone before us. And what I was thinking about on my way here was a man that I knew when I was uh, 23, just starting out in show business. I was at uh, Nottingham Playhouse, and there was a barman called John. And John was a silver fox. Uh, he was, uh, well, he's probably about my age, actually, now. <laughs> Um, but he seemed very old to me, uh, and he was very out, and I'd never, I'd never come across this before, and I found it really wonderful, I just thought it was thrilling. And I said to him, John, do you have a partner? And he said, well, I did. He had a partner called Roger, and uh, Roger and he were together for 20 years. Roger's family did not speak to him. Uh, they had been, he had been completely banned from the family uh, when he got together with John. And then, very sadly, Roger was in a car accident, and I went into a coma and it was very clear that he was going to die. And John thought he should give the family the opportunity to say goodbye. So he phoned them up, he said, I've been Roger's partner for 20 years. I really need you to know this, I need you to come and say goodbye. And they came to the hospital. John was immediately banned from the hospital. He never, <laughs> makes me wanna cry. He never went to Roger's funeral and he did not know where Roger was buried. And on the day that John told me that story, a fire was lit in me. A fire was lit in me that has never gone out. And so, <laughs> the person that we should be fating this evening is John. And and the wonderful Roger, wherever he is, and I've never forgotten him. He made me, in many ways, the activist that I have always tried to be. Please know we've come a really long way and it's wonderful. Uh, and I thank the banks for all the work that they did. Um, but please don't think we're done. Please don't think we're done. If you think about what young people are suffering, homophobic bullying, if you think about the people who are afraid to hold hands in the street, if you think about every microsecond that you get judged yourself, it's kind of death by a thousand paper cuts. And we need to keep fighting. So I don't feel old at all. I got plenty of fight left in me. Um, but I'm proud to be part of the community. And I'm proud that we've come as far as we have. But I'm not stopping yet. I'm not stopping because there's still so much work to be done. Thank you so much.